Welcome to the final day of my 31 days of Halloween. Today, I'll be making the watercolor paint tray costume. I used a free pattern from DIYNetwork.com. There, you will find all the materials that you need. I cut out my pattern pieces and then cut out the dress front and back. Now I'll start on the paint tray. First, I'll trace out the ovals and borders for the colors of paint on a sheet of heat and bond. This will allow the paint pieces to be ironed on later. After I cut the borders away from the ovals, I will iron the heating bond onto the wrong side of the colored felt for each color. Now I'll cut the ovals out. Next I'll iron the borders onto the white felt and cut them out. Next, I'll make the paint tray. The pattern provides a curved area to help make the tray. I cut the tray out, making it long enough to fit on the front of the dress. I took the tray area and spaced out the paint and borders, making sure everything fit nicely. I pinned the borders down to help secure the placement. Next, I removed the backing from the paint and ironed it down. Now I'll iron down the borders. I'll repeat the same method for the back. I laid the tray diagonally on the front and back and sewed them together. I 
I'll add some white felt to the ends of the tray so that they will match when snapped at the shoulder. I'll apply the snaps at the shoulders per the directions. Now I'll make the beret. First I cut the pattern piece out. Next I'll cut out two pieces from the black felt. This was cut on the fold. On one circle, I cut out the small circle to create the opening for the beret. With the wrong sides together, I stitched around the beret. Now I'll turn the beret right side out and press the seams with my fingers. I cut a piece of felt 23 and a half by 2 and a half inches long. Next, I'll sew the ends together. I'll fold it in half, pin it to the hat, and sew the raw edges together. I took a small piece of felt and sewed the loop to the center of the hat. I tried the dress on my daughter and then stitched the sides and hemmed the bottom. Here is the completed dress. Now I'll work on the final part of the costume, the paintbrush. To make the paintbrush, I use a pool noodle, painter's tape, black pipe cleaners, and silver spray paint. While the noodle dries, I'll start cutting the pipe cleaners. Once the noodle is dry, I inserted the pipe cleaners. The more you use, the fuller the brush will appear.
Here is the final costume. Thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe.